Mama, that's what I call my grandmother, told me many stories about Yoruba mythology. You see, the Yoruba is our ethnic group from the southwestern part of Nigeria. And I was always fascinated by these stories. I was always intrigued. You see, African art is not just what you buy at Harlem Market in New York. Every artist has a name, and every artist has a story. This is my story. See, Mama had tattoos on her arms and her legs. See, as a child, I thought she was born with them. They were beautiful black lines and detailed symbols. And then she told me that they were actually symbols from the Yoruba mythology. You see, as a young child, I saw art everywhere. I remember the house we lived in Ilorin, in Stadium Road. We had marble floors, and, you know, I would look at the marble floors, and I would see all sorts of patterns and designs in it. And I thought everybody could see them. When I grew up, I knew being an artist was not an option. So I wanted to be the person my parents wanted me to be, so I went to law school. And this was what my notebooks looked like in law school. <laughs> When I started working at the Human Rights Commission as a human rights attorney, my mind was elsewhere. I saw a very tough reality. I worked with children who had to choose between getting an education and actually being forced into marriage. I was so frustrated seeing all the injustice around me, and my only outlet was art, so I started painting. In 2013, I made a big gamble. I quit my job, and I moved to New York City to practice art full-time. But life as an artist in New York was not easy, so I started painting on clothes to make a living. I started painting on shoes. I started customizing things for people. And then soon I realized the power, because people were so proud to wear their, their, their stories. So I started painting on everything. As a child, I saw art on the marble floors. I saw art on walls, but now I see art on people's faces and people's bodies. Now I look at all the people I painted and I think to myself, like, what would it look like if we all walked around like gods and goddesses from Yoruba mythology? And boom, that is how the sacred art of the Ori was born. Ori in Yoruba mythology means your soul, it means your essence, it means your instincts. And I realized that only when you tap into your Ori, then you can actually move mountains. 